Hey guys, I'm going to run through a second sample problem for you um, real quick. It's a, a question we haven't, a, an equation we haven't used before. Uh, the questions, of course, are the same. So we'll take a look at how we work through this step by step so we can hopefully come to some understanding on some things. Also some tips on how to write your answers, how to show your math in the answer box. Okay. All right. So the reaction we have here is carbon dioxide reacting with lithium hydroxide to uh, to produce lithium carbonate and water. So let's just look at this. If I had asked you what particle this was, this is a molecule. Lithium hydroxide is, say it, a formula unit because lithium is a metal. Lithium carbonate would also be a formula unit because lithium is a metal. And of course, water is a molecule. All right, you'll notice that one of the things I've done here is I've written the molar masses for the elements involved here. You'll actually see that on your test so that you don't have to go to a periodic table. Now you will have to calculate this molar mass and this molar mass, but the numbers will be right here for you. And you'll find those on your test as well. So the questions that we have for us here, we've got four questions. Uh, if we have 880 grams of each reactant, how much water in grams can be produced? How much excess reactant is left over? The third question, if we produce 299 grams of water, what's the percent yield? And then the fourth question, so I wrote these out of order, apologize, this if we need to pull 1,760 grams of carbon dioxide out of the air, how much lithium hydroxide would we need in order to do that? Okay, so let's take a look at these questions step by step. So this first, so we'll notice here that we actually have two masses given to us. 880 grams of this one and 880 grams of this one. So while this question does not explicitly ask us to find the limiting reactant, we have to intuitively know that we have to do that in order to answer the question, how many grams of water? We cannot do this if we don't determine the limiting reactant. So in order to do that, we take 880 grams of CO2 and we're going to convert that to moles, CO2. The molar mass of carbon hydroxide, of, sorry, of carbon dioxide is two oxygens at 16 times 2 plus 12 is 44 grams. So this gives us a molar mass. We have not a molar mass, sorry, number of moles of CO2. Guys, I don't think I've ever made a video at 630 before. Maybe I should never make another video at 630. 880 grams of lithium hydroxide. One mole of lithium hydroxide has a mass. This is a small molecule. Oxygen is the biggest thing in this. So this is 16 plus 1.01 plus 6.941, so that's 23.951 grams. So 880 divided by 44 gave us 20. 880 divided by 23.951 gives us 36.74 moles of lithium hydroxide. All right, so now uh, we are going to evaluate our ratios so that we can determine the limiting reactant. So the balanced equation ratio is 1 to 2. 1 to 2. The available ratio is 20 to 36.74. All right, so I'm going to divide this, 20, divide by 20, to get this to something that looks similar to this. So this is going to be 1, so 36.74 divided by 20 is 1.8, I don't need any more, and I could say 8.4 for 1 or 2, but now do we see, if I try to use one mole of carbon dioxide, I don't have enough. I only have a ratio of 1.84. I would need to, and even if I look back here, if, since this is one to two, one to twos are easy, right? I would need 40 
in order to, but I don't have 40. I don't have two. So that means that this one, that means that the limiting reactant is lithium hydroxide. That means the excess reactant, the excess is CO2. All right, so we're going to work with that in just a minute. Now, how could you show your math about this if you were trying to, you know, squeeze this up a little bit for me? You could type in, let's just take this one, for example. You could type in 880 divided by 44, or you could use a slash, divided by 44 equals 20 moles CO2. That's enough math to show me that on your paper, you knew what you were doing, okay? Same thing here. My dog is not convinced. All right. So now let's answer. We had to get this far, remember, before we can answer question A, which is how much water? How much water can we produce? So you know that we don't actually have to go all the way back to 880 grams. We could, but it would just be one more step. So since we have already converted this to moles, since we've already converted this to moles, we're going to start there. So that was 36.74 moles of lithium hydroxide. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way for just a second. And then we need our balanced equation ratio, right? So now we're comparing these two things. This is my limiting reactant. This is what I want to know about. The balanced equation says 2 moles of lithium hydroxide will give me one mole of H2O. But I don't want this answer in moles. You could write an answer right there, but it's not necessary if we're continuing this dimensional analysis. So now we're gonna do one mole of H2O gives me, uh, has a mass of, sorry, 18.02 grams. That's one water, which is 16 plus 2.02 for the two hydrogens that we have. So we're going to pick, now what we, what could we write down in, uh, if we could type this into our problem? We would type 36.74 divided by 2 times 18.02. Or if you, I don't think there's a division sign. But anyway, in, something to show division there. Equals, that's what you could type in to show me this math and then give me the answer with the right unit. So this is going to be, uh, let's see, did I do, yes, so this is going to be 331.0 grams of water. So that's the final answer that you would write for A. With all of this supporting work, it's all necessary, okay? Now let's move on to question B, which is, question B how much excess reactant is left over? So I'm just going to quickly write my write this back up here to LiOH just so I can refer to it without flipping back. Li2O3 plus H2O. All right. Uh, so there's my balanced equation for us to use for the second part. Now, now I want to know how much how much of this excess do we have? And if we remember, we had, we started with 880 of each one. Okay, so I still have to start with my limiting reactant. All right, so we're going to start with that, which is 36, 36.74 moles of LiOH. That's from what we calculated right here, right from the beginning, right from how many moles we had. So since we're starting here, we're going to go straight to our um, mole ratio from the balanced equation. Two moles of lithium hydroxide, so moles of lithium hydroxide cancel, one, sorry, one mole of CO2. Now we need our molar mass of CO2 again. Right now, some of you like to do this. You like to stop right here, and that'll tell you how many moles you used, and then you could, can subtract that from the number of moles, the 20 moles that we calculated earlier. That's a beautiful way to do that. Uh, I'm just going to do it putting all my steps together or doing it just a little bit differently. We have to subtract here. You have to subtract with the other one too. So 44 grams is one mole. So this would be, I would write down, 
36.74 divided by 2 times 44 gets me to 808.3 grams of CO2 used. That's important. That's not what's left over. That's what would was used. Now to find how much was left over, we take the original amount that we had, 880 grams minus 808.3 grams equals 71.7 grams of CO2 left over. So that's the answer to B with all of this supporting work, right? Finding the number of amount that was used or finding the number of moles that was used and then subtracting those moles from 20 moles and then converting that with the molar mass. All right, let's do part C. Part C, ask about the percent yield. Uh, it actually says, if we have, if we collected 299 grams of water, what's the percent yield? Well, this is the actual yield. Remember, actual yield has to be given to you in the problem. You cannot calculate actual yield. It can be measured by a scientist, but it can't be calculated. We divide that by the theoretical yield, which we calculated over here. Theoretical yield is calculated from the stoichiometry. So this is 331.0 uh, grams of H2O, all right, times 100. So this is 299 divided by 33.1 and that is, is that 33.0? Oh, that should be, is that right? Yeah, I'm just going to call that right right there. I think I used the wrong number uh, before. We'll just call it this, 31, and that is 90.14%. Okay, pretty efficient a uh, bit of business there, okay? If you're on the, if you're on the, uh, if you're on a spacecraft, you're on the International Space Station, you might want that to be more efficient than that. You want, want less, you don't want that carbon dioxide to be building up in there. So we want that to, we want more water to be coming out of that. Now let's look at question D, All right? Question D says, if we need to pull 1,760 grams of carbon dioxide out of the air, how much lithium hydroxide do we need? Guys, this is just a brand new stoichiometry problem. It doesn't concern any of the previous data that I have calculations that I've done. This is just brand new. So we, we start it with the piece of data that we have. 760 grams of CO2. It's really important that we put the CO2 here so that we know how to walk on our path, right? So we are going to convert from grams to moles. One mole of CO2 has a mass of 44 grams. And then we're going to use our balanced equation ratios here. One mole of CO2 to two moles of lithium hydroxide. And then we're going to put the molar mass, then we're over here. The molar mass, which we had calculated before as, uh, what was that, 22, yeah, 23, sorry, 23.951 grams. So what could I write, what could I type up? I could type up 1760, divided by 44, I want to put in equals, right, or something, then times 2, so we're just showing what we did, times 23.951. That's what's going to go on my calculator. That's the math. We write our equal sign, and here we are going to get as our answer. Dun, dun, dun. We get... 1,916.1 grams of lithium hydroxide are needed to pull that much carbon dioxide out of the air. And that's how you solve this problem.